So today I'm going to do a review and a demonstration of the hand ground hand burr grinder. I've had a few different burr grinders. Uh, I used this on my very first YouTube video. Um, this will be my third YouTube video, so I'm really rocking it. You know, I think I'm up to 15 subscribers. Uh, yeah, another 85 more and I can get my own domain from YouTube, so bring them on people. But uh, this is a great device, but I wanna see how it matches up to uh, a regular bird grinder. So I got this guy here, it's the Compresso, it's the one I use at home. I'm going to measure out uh, 15 grams of coffee and today I'm going to be using something very special. I'm going to be using a coffee bean that is cheap, something I would consider undrinkable. And when this experiment is done, I'm probably going to have to run rice through both my grinders to filter out and clean off the awful taste of that coffee bean. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm using something cheap, so I don't wanna waste good coffee and something I'm not going to drink. So we're going to use the 10 settings that are on the hand grind. We're gonna compare it to the settings on the Compresso. And when we're all said and done, we're gonna have them all laid out here. And we're going to see how the hand ground matches up to the electric burr grinder. So here we go. Um, there are approximately 16 settings on the on both on both of these grinders, both this electric one and the hand ground one. Uh, there's a click between every number. So wh what I did is I did about every other setting here. So here's the finest ground right here, very fine, like you would use for espresso on the electric one. And here's the finest ground on hand ground. Now it's not very fine. The closest comparison on the electric one would be probably all the way up to about here. One, two, three, four, five, about six settings up. This is as close to the finest ground on the hand ground. So right off the bat, if you want a really good espresso grind, you're not gonna get a really fine grind from the hand ground, maybe, you know, there's a way to adjust it. I looked online. I didn't really see a way to tune it or adjust it. Um, the coarseness in the hand ground, it becomes much more distinct as it gets bigger. Uh, the coarseness on the electric grind is very subtle. I mean, you, you can almost barely tell the first two, and then it gets a little more coarse moving up, coming up here to the coarsest setting of all. Now the coarsest setting of all on the electric one you know, like what you would use in a French press, is probably equal to about the fourth setting on the hand ground, which would be about eight clicks up, about where the number four is. So the hand ground does do a good job at grinding your coffee with a burr grinder, fresh. However, it's not going to get it as fine and as powdery like you would want for an espresso. I have made espresso with this, with my hand-powered espresso maker, which I'm going to review in my next video. This little puppy right here is pretty amazing. The Star Resso hand-powered espresso maker. Looks like a little Star Wars device. Hand grind works great, but you're not gonna get as fine as a grind, grind with it, and you're not going to get um, you know, the, the fine detail of, of increments between each grind like you would with the electric one. Like these are very subtle changes, but they are changes nonetheless. The changes in the hand ground start out, you know, much more coarse and they do change going up, but at the very end, I mean, it's like little pebbles. See how so, big that is? Wrapping it all up, the hand ground grinder, pretty cool. Uh, works great, um, but you are not going to get the fine grind that you would get from an electric burr grinder. 
So if you're making espresso, um, you can use it, but it, it won't work great because you, you won't really get that fine grind. Good for pour overs, good for French press, great for travel. This little guy's been all over the world with me and will continue to go. I love it, but it does not do a very fine grind. Other than that, it's awesome.